Yes? What? You there. I don't rec- <laughs> I don't recognize you. And I know every Sith on this planet. We'll get to the bottom of this. Commander Gran, report to the security desk immediately. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them. And their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm! Droids, destroy them!
What? I'm here.
I do.
Yes? Sure.
Certainly you must have heard of the destruction of Taras. It's your honorable friends that committed that atrocity. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
You've been saved from more than you know. Given time, the Sith would have turned you fully to the dark side, and you would have betrayed your world gladly. Get in here! Wait... I recognize you. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. As you wish, my eager apprentices. We shall remove this... <laughs> <laughs>
You're the one defending Sunmi now, huh? The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a- He can't run good cause- No, I don't think so. No, no way I- Yeah, I'll t Hmm, I guess this is what they call working the system. Not that I'm objecting- Now, was there- Well, okay. You with the Salkath? You here to see me about the murder? I told the damn fish everything I knew. What more do you all want from me? Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alas's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with their damn antics, usually. I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, in private, is their business. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. Ah, uh, well, Elasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. You know, I think I could trust you. Heck, I don't even know why I shouldn't tell you. Well, one time... I saw Alasa coming in wearing this big cloak. I was on my way to my room, and she normally wears stuff like that, so I didn't pay her too much attention. But this time, I accidentally brushed up against her. Accidentally, of course. And her cloak fell open. Now, I don't have any qualms about the Sith. I leave them alone, and they leave me alone. And seeing as how Alasa had a Sith lightsaber under her cloak, I'm not going to poke that hornet's nest. Seems so. But I'm not getting myself in any further with the Sith. I know how ruthless they are. Now that's all I'm going to tell you. I'll testify it to the court, but you aren't going to get anything else out of me. Sunk up, join Amulia. 
much more complicated than it may first appear. Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey by the footprints. You understand, yes? Oh, dear, dear. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They've both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. No, of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the common market? You would have to be mm, devious to get what you want. Heed my advice, Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. Have you managed to retrieve the date of time? Working for the Republic? You look like a Republic agent. I can see the cowardice in your eyes. You think you can impress me by spouting a bunch of Jedi garbage? If it wasn't for the Selkath neutrality laws, I'd add your name to the list of Jedi I've killed. Good man. I wouldn't mind.
Whose entrance to the said embassy has been closed? What? How did you... Uh... Is those with legitimate business with the Sith should return when the repairs have been... have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good, but I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bombed Terrus into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this, when we win this war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. Have you been to the swoop races before? Some of these are Kipuna Nabon.
Back off, Republic scum. A man like you couldn't hope to satisfy us. How much for all this stuff, Tybark? Thanks, Tybark. Catch you next week. I hear you've been appointed as arbiter in... What? Don't insult it! Now, now, Elora. We're not here to pass judgment, my dear. We do need to know everything if we're here to help, yes? Yes! Yes, he was having an affair! He was seeing that... That Sith woman! After all these years we've been together, he just... Just dropped me like that! Not publicly, or no. But inside, that's what it feels. He started seeing Alasa last year. I, I had my suspicions for a while, but he was careless. Pretty soon, everyone knew. But even though I'm sure that Harlot was only using him, I know he couldn't have killed her. He came and confessed to the affair to me. He said he was going to there to break it off, to end it. Maybe the Sith woman attacked him, and he had to defend himself. But even though he cheated on me, inside he's still the man I loved. Yeah. He's too kind and gentle to have killed her in cold blood. This is all a plot to discredit the Republic. Sunri is a victim of a Sith frame-up. It's possible. I haven't seen Sunri since I crashed on Kashyyyk. A man can change a lot in that time. The man I knew could never have done this crime, however. Find the real evidence. That's all I have. Jolie! Coming to check in on an old man? I must confess, I... I would rather you were here to speak to the Warden and begin my trial. Soon, old friend. But we don't... Oh, I grow weary of staring at these four bare walls. I suppose you know what you're doing. Go ahead, ask. We, uh, I, oh, no, what this must look like, yes. Yes, we were having an affair. I know it was wrong, but I'm a weak man. Alasa was beautiful and young. How was I to resist her charms? Killer. I loved her! Please! I know I made a terrible mistake getting involved with Alasa, but I was going there to break it off with her. I did it, but found out later that she was dead. I don't deserve to go to jail just for having an affair, do I? You have to help me prove that I wasn't the killer. Go ahead, ask. A Rodian? I didn't know there were any Rodians on Manan. Oh, except for Tybark and this one named Glupar, who's hanging around the hotel all the time. Okay, so maybe there are a whole bunch of Rodians on Manan. But what does that matter? 
If he planted evidence at the scene, it's a clear sign of a frame-up. He probably took all the evidence of the real killer at the same time. The evidence of a Sith conspiracy keeps getting stronger. Go ahead, ask. How would they know? I heard so I want you. Go ahead. So the truth is out. I never meant to kill her, you know. When I found out she was a Sith spy using me to gain information, that something inside me just snapped. She didn't know I had found out. So I waited until she fell asleep. And then I... I killed her. Simple, really. But once I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. I contacted those spies from the Republic to help me. They found the illegal monitoring device that the Sith had planted in the room, altered its recording to hide my part in it, and cleared up the evidence. I figured that was the end of it. The Sith must have been spying on me and Alasa, trying to make sure she wasn't a double agent. They must have seen the Republic spies getting rid of all the evidence. So they planted their own evidence. Asa must have stolen that hero's cross from me long ago and given it to her Sith masters like some kind of trophy. I just thought I'd misplaced it. But when the cross turned up on her body, I knew the Sith had put it there. So, now you know the whole story. What are you going to do? But Sunry is a murderer. I'm sorry, old friend, but you are. I, I can't approve of this. I'm glad you decided to see reason in this. It is an honor to see justice served, and I will see. The man I saw leaving, Sunri, probably left after I heard the blaster shot. The guilt of the accused is apparent even this early in the trial. You are feareth me, the well-known Pazak player. I wonder if we can trust the word of a, a gambler as reliable testimony. Of course, Your Honor. Feareth me, what did you see the night of the murder? Well, I came out into the hallway after hearing the blaster shot and saw Sunri over there limping down the hall out of the building. A very obvious point, Your Honors. The accused was seen leaving the scene of the crime after the blaster that killed Elasa was fired. You mean, actually see him kill her with my own eyes? Well, no, but I don't think there could have been anyone else there. <laughs> I think it may have been. I mean, you'd have to be pretty stupid to leave something that important lying around, wouldn't you? Yes, from what I could tell, she carried a lightsaber under that cloak of hers. Objection! That doesn't prove she was a Jedi. <laughs> Glupor the Rodian, you were staying in the hotel the night of the murder, 
And saw Sunri leaving Elasa's room, didn't you? This is clear, then, that Sunri left the room with the Sith Elasa... Lies! Slander! I object! Sunri's lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between the Sith Empire and the Republic. He was crippled in that war. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes. I guess he would. And there you have motive. Sunri seeks revenge. <laughs> He was having an affair with that Sith harlot. It seems painfully obvious that he killed her to keep her quiet about the affair. He's gone. He'd been seeing her for some time, I think. But he said he was going to change. He'd gone there that night to end it. We talked the night before and he'd promised. But now things have become so very complicated. Yes. He fought against the Sith in the last war. He fought bravely and was even awarded the Hero's Cross. I don't know how much that means to the Sith or to your Selkath, your honors. But in the Republic, it is awarded only to the kind of man who earns that medal. <laughs> he was a good man. But his injuries pained him terribly. But he always held on. Always. I don't think he could have beaten her or anything like that. I wish to call forth Sunri. Are you a war hero, Mr. Sunry? You fought in wars against the Sith Empire, correct? Yes, that's right. And I don't regret it either. The Republic needs its heroes. Indeed. Would you say that you dislike the Sith? Even hate them? Of course I hate them. Trying to take over the galaxy every chance they get, killing millions of innocents? Pure politics. Were you in Alassa's room on the night of the murder? Well, yes, I, I was. I had been having an affair with Alassa and my wife, yes. But I realized how wrong I'd been, and I was going there to end it. You were having an affair with a Sith. You wanted to end it quickly and quietly, so you killed her from behind and tried to flee. No, I... I think we can see the answer clear enough, Mr. Sunry. <laughs> Of course she was. Why would a young, beautiful Sith woman get with an old cripple like me? I don't know. The medal had gone missing some time ago. I never found out what happened to it. It's possible the Sith had stolen it and had it planted on the body. Supposition. 
Yes, I think they would. They wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them anything. They... they might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. The Sith Empire is not the barbaric institution you portray it to be. I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. Sunri was having an affair with Elasa. He sought to end it, and the simplest, quickest method, giving his hatred of the Sith, was to simply kill her. Witnesses saw Sunri fleeing the scene, and material evidence places him there at the time of the murder as well. I am confident that any informed observation of the facts will lead the judges, your honors, to this very conclusion. <laughs> The Sith would not leave the medal of her killer clutched in her hand. Oh, that doesn't mean a thing. He was there, running from the room. Your honors, no. Oh, Sunry, I'm so glad. Elora, we have done all we could for you, old friend. Thank you for saving me. I don't know how I can repay you. Elora and I are going to leave here and get as far away from all this as soon as we can. I and the Republic will not forget what you've done for us. Thank you. Thank you.